Thank you, Enchantress of Numbers, for an amazing DKC4 run. Yes, uh, all the assets for DKC1 were obviously taken from DKC4. It's obvious because you can tell it was on an 8-bit system, so it must have come first, guys. Come on. Uh, next up, we have Mr. Shasta playing Pinobi, Wings of Adventure. I don't know anything about this game, but I know that I've seen Shasta play it, and the play is impressive, and the game is impressively bad. So I hope you all are ready to enjoy some of this crap. Take it away, Mr. Shasta. Okay, apparently I'm live. Hi! <laughs> Hello! Uh, this is a video game that exists. It's not based off the B-movie though, don't worry. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, there's no way I- the game doesn't actually tell you how to delete your file for some reason. You just kind of like have to press buttons and something works. There you go. <laughs> That's a thing. This game is very well made if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Anyways. First start, so three, two, one, bam. So yeah, this is Pie Wings of Adventure. This game is it's a game I played growing up. Apparently according to my brother, we got this game like during one of our birthdays. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah. The only controls in this game are using the in my case, the control stick and the A button. <laughs> That's the only controls for this game. You can press A again in the area here, just kind of flip down like that, or just do a lot, a lot of kicks, mini kickies. But yeah, you see those fruit I just collected, by the way. I got good luck there. <laughs> Basically, this. Oh, by the way, that guy's a jerk. We we don't like him. He stole our lunch money once. But yeah, uh, that's fruit I just collected there. Is basically random what you get, and anything that's not what I got there or flowers is like bad luck. So yeah. So yeah, as you can tell, the main mechanic of this game is dashing, and if, if you uh, if you go up to this ferry here, you get two dashes like that. That crystal I just collected is a checkpoint. They're good because they're the only thing in the game that heals you. <laughs> I'm stuck on their bubbles. Bubbles are bad. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, by the way, his head just gets like that. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Elephant in the room and all that good stuff. Yeah, it just it just does that. <laughs> no other explanation. It just does it. So I found a way at one point to actually skip these bubbles here, like go right through them and all that, but I have not been able to replicate that ever since. But it is possible for sure. Alright, there we go. Also, I have no idea what the flyers do. Like, I I've had this game since I was a kid, I have no idea what the flyers do. You just kind of sit there in the corner looking pretty. That's a, that's a thing. Oh yeah, another thing, by the way, you know that fairy I, uh, I talked to earlier gave me a dash? That fairy, you can actually use a tree up hit. If you hit that fairy, you can't get a dash again. And dashing's how you go fast in this game, and just in general, do good things and have fun, so... You kinda need that. Like, it's pretty important. Oh, I did it wrong. There we go. Y'all seen all the dashes I can get in this game, too, because... If I get all the dashes, that means I save a lot of time later on, and do a skip. Because I need all six of them that I can get to do so. Oops. Just bring it all the way down here, just bring it around town. There we go. Is it Beaver or Celeste? Well, you're right. <laughs> you're right. See, look at all these dashes. You can't dash like this in Celeste. Like, literally. It's just impossible. I'll, I'll, aren't you loving this soundtrack so far? Don't worry, it doesn't get better. Don't worry about it. Cannon. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all the B sides right now. Dang it, someone beat me to that. <laughs> exactly. I actually want to get past all these cans in this, in this level. Because if I do that... I can actually, it, it saves time really, that's all it is. It's important. But about the head shrinking, about the head expanding thing, it's whenever you lose your, all your dashes when his head expands for no reason. <laughs> oh, he wants, oh, by the first boss of the game right here, 
one out of two that we're facing. So this boss is really simple in how it works. Essentially all it is is basically he's gonna drop a bomb right here and bam. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is dash into it. He also has, this, also, this boss also has luck to him because he can do this right there, just drop some little spiky balls. Nah, he's really easy though, it's only four hits. All right, so you want some hot, you want some hot pie beef facts in that case? This game has a PS1 version. Right, this game's on the GBA. So a PS1 version was like, this had to be a, very, a really late PS1 game in that case, or it took too long to develop or something to, for it to actually be a thing. But yeah, it does exist. There's also a Japan-only sequel to this game that uh, also exists. I actually own it, but I, never pl I haven't played it yet. I haven't done the hot routing for it. Maybe next Big Bad game a who knows? But yeah, that also exists. This game is published by uh, Hudson and also Activision. And I think this game didn't sell well enough, which makes sense. Like, <laughs> I don't think it sold well enough for actually, for them to justify like spending the money to publish it in the US again, but who knows? But yeah, that's all, that's a thing. All that's a thing. <laughs> oh yeah, the sequel's called Pine Bee and Phoebe, by the way. Phoebe, you know, spelled P-H-O-E-B-E-E, -E -E because, you know, it's a bee! <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> if I had to guess, he's de if I had to guess, Phoebe's definitely his honey. But who knows. I might die, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. I can tell them that this, like, this, these levels here that I'm going through right now are, like, the longest in the game, I'd say. They're just... There's just a lot of twisty passages, essentially. That's all it is. And yeah, get them for safety. There we go. So not every flyer that, like, not every question mark flyer like that has, like... I got every question mark flyer for the same thing every time. Some of them are sets and have like... I was watching that fire by the way. Have like shields in them that are good. <laughs> All good stuff. But no, not that one. Alright. Oh yeah, another thing. I can't actually cancel out of a dash just as I start it. I have to commit to the whole thing. All four dashes in this case. It's a... Uh, it's a thing that exists. This is the longest level in the game, by the way. This place is called- this whole area is called the Underground Prison. And like... It definitely keeps me here for a while, let's just say that one. <laughs> oh, forgot, let's just go over here. There we go. It's easy to get lost in this game. Feeling what you're doing. But thankfully I know what I'm doing, so I don't never get lost, trust me. I don't know why it pops up as empty, considering that just waste time. Why does it just, like, have nothing in there and then we just move on for lives? I don't know. Video game design. This game has it. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. You can float just slightly over the Pine Bee whenever you're just, like, floating in there after you're doing a dash. You just float slightly over with them. Sometimes it matters. Most of the time it does not, but sometimes it does. Does mushrooms refresh your, your uh, jumps, by the way? Or at least your dashes? So they're good if you're just running out of dashes, essentially. I try to, like, dash into them whenever I can, so I can save the frames and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, and this part's not good. <laughs> you have to wait for a block to fall, essentially. It's one of those ones. Oops. There we go. Oh, okay. Right up here. Like I said, this is this is the longest level in the entire run. This long, this run's pretty short. This is definitely the longest one. Ooh, nice. Crisp movement. Super crisp. Right in there. See, I don't, I don't know deals with all those doors, by the way. I don't know why he has to go inside all of them. I don't know why he can't just live in his beautiful underground prison with. I don't know. I don't know why you can't just do that. It's, it's not explained. After each level is actually some sort of story that gets explained, but... 
It's mostly just him venting his frustrations. It's kind of uncomfortable. Like, he's kind of like, he's like an angsty teen. He's basically like, he reads like an angsty teenager. Let's just say that. And that, and like his diary is, you read his diary like after every level. That's pretty much how he is. Even though he's a, ro even though he's a robotic bee and all that. He's an angsty robotic bee. Character development. Oh, I might die. I'm being careful. I might straight up die here. I don't know. Okay, I didn't die. We're good. We're good! The whole plot of this game, by the way, I also forgot to explain that too. The whole plot of this game is that you're on, you're on a journey right now to save your grandpa who got lost somewhere. I don't know how, but, you know, he's gone, so you gotta save him. Very noble quest. Very, very noble, to say the least. I believe he can do it. I believe in him. But him and me, because I'm controlling him, but you know. I believe, either way. Okay. Currently beefing it. That wasn't a pun, but let's call it a pun. <laughs> I'm just messing up. <laughs> I'm forgetting where I need to go, which is a weird part, because I, like, played this game recently. Ah, crap. Okay, first death of the run. It's okay. That- <laughs> also, that screen's amazing. <laughs> I know it's so like weirdly animated, but you know what? We take those. Oh, I just okay. That that was weird. <laughs> I never done that before. I just kind of jumped on the side of that block. That's cool. <laughs> Good video game. I'm gonna be careful. Bam. Ah, they get into like a long hit stun and every like hit an enemy in this game. It's a little bit frustrating sometimes because you only like fall to the ground for a while. <laughs> but it's okay. Alright, here's a sad level of the game. It's stormy outside and Pine Bee does not like rain. And the game will tell you exactly why later. <laughs> but be sad for Pine Bee when it happens. You'll, you'll know when. Trust me. Poor Robog B Man. Doesn't deserve it. I love all the, all the blurry graphics in the background and the, the simulate the uh, the rain. By the way, just just want to point that out. All right, here we go. Wait, actually no, wait, a little more. Okay, let's not die, please. There we go. This music's changed. Oh no, he's so sad. Ah! Poor Pine and B. He hates the rain. Okay, we're out of there. <laughs> Poor Pine and B. Number four. Oh, went too far. There we go. Bible thump, man. All right, these levels are pretty short. These ones are good. They also get flung everywhere if you're not careful. Which I'm not, so I get flung everywhere. <laughs> ah! I couldn't avoid that, there's too much hit stun. <laughs> I'm gonna die! No! Alright, death number two. I believe. I have no idea what the cards. Oh, actually, no, I know what the cards do. So they're random which ones you even get in the first place, but if you get a set of like all the cards and. of like all the cards, basically. Like, of just like one whole suit. There we go. If you get a set of one, like one whole suit of cards like that, then you get like a really loud and obnoxious screen that literally can cause epilepsy. That won't happen this run, but I'm not even kidding you. It's like really bad. It, it, it happens for like multiple seconds at a time. It's like really, it's really not good. It like it, it does stuff like, it does stuff like, uh, what is this? Like it lowers defense for some enemies. It makes it so their attacks like not are not as powerful. That sort of thing. But like the way it's present presents it to you is like really really odd <laughs> to say the least. My world record in this game actually has that happen to me. For the record, <laughs> the screen's like 10 seconds long too. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> 
Optimized speedrun. <laughs> nah, that's pretty optimized though, real talk. It's just that I want, I want to happen. <laughs> oh crap. No! I'm getting that for safety. You know what? Safety first. Especially when you died like two times already. Oh my god, it's getting the wall. Thank you. I didn't want I want like I said, I want these dashes. These dashes are good. They're what you want pretty much. Ow. Oh. So much hits done. Oh wait, you wanna do this. Ooh. Bam. Right to right to the solution. Right to the end. Bam. But if it oh, you're second boss of the game. AKA the last boss of the game <laughs> for me. This game is mul- so I'll explain that really quickly. This game has multiple endings. No, actually I'll explain that to the boss. Okay, so this boss just come towards me. He splits up into multiple like little mosquitoes. That's all that's all it is. They have to destroy the mosquitoes once once they appear. They don't they don't appear for long though. So you gotta be careful. Optimization of this fight is basically just like making sure to hurt him. Or make sure he doesn't move as much. Like that, see? That's how you save time in this fight. Oh! I did not get that. Wow. That's that's nothing that happens often. Dang, dude. Kapow. Yeah, there's one left. There's one left. It forms it forms the cogwheel there. See, we're good. I wasn't talking about before. <laughs> Crap, I actually forgot what I was talking about before. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this, these, so there's three levels right here. These levels all suck. <laughs> this is, right there, those slides are main mechanic of these levels. Like, they are the main thing that, they're the main thing that the developers of this game wanted to stress, essentially. <laughs> but all they do is just, like, slide along them. And sometimes pick up a fruit on accidents because you can't, you can't really react to it in time to avoid it. So that's a thing as well, too. Oh, yeah, multiple endings, thank you. Okay, so yeah, this game has multiple endings to it. I'm getting the bad ending, which basically means I, I destroy that one guy, that one enemy you see me destroy all the time. The guy that Pineby apparently hates and all the good stuff. So I destroy him and, and like, I just beat the, I beat the game after like the 20 second level. Because, why not? You'll see how I beat it, too. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. <laughs> There's this all six dashes, by the way. That's all I need. All right, so I have all six dashes. This level right here is the reason why I got every single dash in the game. Because the way I beat this level is going all the way up here. I shouldn't do that correctly. Going all the way up here to the very top of the screen. Just like that. Oh. Actually, didn't go far enough. I didn't go high enough there. There we go. Now we're good. Just like that. Now we're, at the, now we're like towards the end. Get out of here. His name's Cricket, by the way. He's not a good person. He hate. That's why we hate him. Because he's he doesn't do good things. Oh my God. Get over there. Oh wait. That's right. Okay. I always mess it up. Everything just kind of blends together in this game. It's easy to mess things up like that. And check this out. Wild solution. Whoa. We're going against we're going against the rules here. We're not using that sign. We're not, not, we're not gonna tell Never mind. <laughs> we're not gonna let this bosses around like that. I have no idea how many endings there are actually. I've only ever gotten this ending, even growing up playing this game. I've like only ever gotten this ending right here. This level, by the way, has two slides like this, and you have to hope that these these fruit have like stuff that doesn't waste time in it, pretty much, to save time. So that's a thing. Who needs devs when you have swag, after all? And you don't have this, like you don't have six dashes. That's too much swag right there. You can't deal. With, no one can deal with that. I'll say there's a sort of enemy there, but we're not gonna worry about him. He's gone. Empty! <laughs> Alright. 
So they're actually the, the hard part of the entire run, which is the last three levels. They're actually pretty hard <laughs> in general. Oh my god. It's really cryptic where you have to go a lot of time, besides the signs, of course. But yeah, it's just, it's like really long and like there's a lot of enemies everywhere that can just hurt you out of nowhere. Thankfully that exists. <laughs> little crystal there, it kills you. And also there's a checkpoint. I don't know why it's a giant crystal, by the way, it's a checkpoint in this game. And I don't know why it's the only thing in the game that actually heals you, but you know what? It's okay. There's some sort, there's something going on in, in there. <laughs> there's something going on with the devs that made them think that way. Maybe think that's a good, good idea and stuff. I'll say once again, for those wondering that why his head keeps growing so huge, uh, I don't know why. <laughs> the big thing, the big thing is that he runs out of dashes, but I don't know why his head that like, causes his head to grow so gigantic. But yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> All right, two more levels. This is the hard. This is one of the hardest ones, though. Actually, no, the one after this is the hardest one, but it's really short. Either way, video games. Oh, number four. I'm actually, I'm actually like silently hoping that I do get like a completed set of cards there, so I can just show off the the screen that appears, because it's actually really glorious. It's probably the best thing in this game. Where, where do I, where am I? <laughs> oh, over here. There we go. I got lost for a second. Oh. I'm actually, kinda, I'm actually hoping I get that, but we'll see, I guess. So I know like a way to get like the best setting, like one of the best settings in this game is like complete objectives that Pipey says after every level, but uh, we're not doing that. All right, last level. Time's gonna end pretty abruptly because it's where the side end time. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go. Death number three. <laughs> Good start. I'm supposed to do that. That's that's what I do there. That's the fast speed strats. That's the quickness, if you will. Oh, I don't know how I just got hurt there. I might die again. I might die right here, actually. I didn't, because I'm a Pine B Pro, that's why. Ooh. God Gamer. <laughs> Real talk, like, this game actually has some cool mechanics to it. It's like the whole dashing thing I actually like a lot in midair. It sucks that it's wasted on a game like this, <laughs> but it's okay. Our time's very soon, and time. Kindness, think about it! Be gone! <laughs> Dead. So yeah, that's this game. I'm gonna show you the ending really quickly because the ending of this game is the best part of it. <laughs> So yeah, here we go. Right here. After thinking about a lot of things, I concluded that I was never gonna see Grandpa again. That was the plot, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. And decided to go home. On the way back home, my fuel ran out. I sit here writing this diary in the last of my fuel, wondering what will become of me. And guess what becomes of him? Just take a random guess. A random guess. He's a vampire! Woo! <laughs> the end? <laughs> but Grandpa B is still captured. Have you seen the other endings? Has anyone seen the other endings? I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, that's Pipe Wings of Adventure. I don't know why he turns into a vampire when he runs out of fuel, but you know, why not? <laughs> Video games, am I right? <laughs> But yeah, that's it for me. And hope you have a good rest of the marathon. Up next is Bro Sencha, which I think you all know him. And that should be pretty, da pretty dang good. So yeah, that button for the road. <laughs> Bye everybody.